end of, at the end of the day, most of you guys. Hi, and welcome to BitDragon Live. My name is Adam Russell. I am your host, and today's episode, we're going to go over IDEX. You know, a lot of you guys have used an Ether Delta or you've just started to try to use Ether Delta. It can be a real pain in the butt. You know, a lot of people really don't know how to do it. We're going to do a, a tutorial video on that as well. But I found that a lot of the new ICOs are starting to go into IDEX because it's a hot up and coming, is over 50,000 users as of today. And what we found is that uh, IDEX actually acts as an exchange, but also as a path of least resistance for a lot of coins that are recently added to a coin market cap, came right off ICO, then went straight to IDEX. And so basically this is a way where you guys can utilize MetaMask, which we have another video that explains how to use and start and load a MetaMask. Today we're just going to start with just a password to load up small amount of ether so you guys can actually understand how the model works how you guys can buy some of the tokens that you want to build up your portfolio you want to be able to obviously take advantage of these before they hit the bigger exchanges kind of like a polymath and and bit degree and, and a lot of other ones that were out there uh, zilica and so with the end of, at the end of the day most of you guys are wanting to get involved in these tokens but you really have no idea how to use something like idex so with that guys let's dig right into it here we go ex so if you just put an IDEX in a Google search, and you're going to click on IDEX, and let's see what comes up. So as you can see here, it says IDEX decentralized exchange. You see all these, you see all these check marks. That's because I have a vast online security that says this is a valid site. Be sure that you're on IDEX.market. That's the actual IDEX platform. And what we're going to talk about today is using MetaMask along with IDEX. Now I did do a video from different modes, right? You can go from a uh, night mode, which I dark. I prefer to have it in dark simply because it's easier on my eyes. But in regards to getting started, first thing you need to do is you need to unlock the wallet. And you see over here it says unlock. You click unlock and then you're going to come here. Now you can start and connect with an existing my ether wallet with either a key store file, your private key, the MetaMask, or a ledger wallet you can connect to here. Today we're going to talk about the MetaMask, but you can easily connect, like I said, a ledger wallet. It's probably pretty secure. But in this case, we're going to do a MetaMask. So we're going to keep it real simple. So what it asks you to do first is to make sure that you're logged in to your MetaMask. So we're going to click on the MetaMask, and you're going to see we're not logged in yet. So we have already Okay, guys, I'm back. Let's try hitting in the password again. And there we go, we're unlocked. Now, we don't only have a, we only have a little bit of money in here. We have like $16 in Ethereum in here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to basically unlock. So we're going to click on MetaMask. And then we're going to click Unlock MetaMask. But before we do that, I want to show you exactly how this works. So once we click on Unlock MetaMask, it's not going to do anything. And you think nothing happened, but in actuality, it did connect your wallet when you click that button. And so if we go to the exchange, and then if we go here, you're going to see now this change. You see this is exchange, orders, balances, and see it has full balances, balance history. And then you'll even have the ability to sign out because you're, you're now logged in through your MetaMask. And so right here, we're going to click on balances, and we're going to go to full balances. And so what this will show you, I have it set for high to zero balances. If you had other tokens in here, you can easily click this and you can see all of the different tokens that are possibly available. But if you have zero balances in them, you can just click this, hide them. And now as you can see, we have the Ethereum from our wallet that's in the exchange now. Now the question is, how do you, how do, you do an order? Well, what you do is you go to exchange and then you're going to choose what pair that you're interested in investing in. So which type of token would you like to buy? So in this particular case, we're going to look at Polymath. Polymath under Poly. We click on Poly. And now you can see here, it tells you the going rate for Polymath. Now, the way you figure out a price of a token is you just take this number here, which is the last price, and you multiply it by the current price of Ethereum. And that will give you the approximate price or the going rate of Poly. So if we take 
Right now, ETH as of today is roughly around eight hundred and forty dollars. Eight forty, and we multiply that times point zero zero one three seven three six seven. Puts you at roughly a dollar fifteen and change is what it's going for right now for Poly. Okay, so you scroll down from here. The the chart will load here soon. Phone will slow today. But if you scroll down, you can see you have the opportunity to buy poly or sell poly down here. So when we go down here, you're gonna be able to choose what was it is waiting. There we go. Waiting to fill uh, the live chat that's going on over here. Okay, so this is going to show you what people are doing in regards to Poly. Now, since Poly is uh, listed on Qcoin, um, you're obviously going to see a lot less volume on something like um, IDEX. Okay, so we go here, and you can choose either the market or limit in regards to how much you want to pay for your poly. Now in this case if we click market you get the current going rate of it. There it goes. There's the, there's the graph that shows you you know where we're at in regards to poly. Alright? And then so we click market and let's just say we want to buy I don't know. Let's say we want to buy 10. And they charge you for a buy perspective they charge you 0.1% fee. Okay? Now, if we go to try to buy it at the moment, we click, you see it says buy poly is zero ETH. So if we try to buy this, it won't let you buy it. The reason why it won't let you buy it is because you don't have any Ethereum inside of your IDEX. So the key is, is that you have to deposit into your IDEX. So this is the biggest mistake most people make, is they try to get started, but unfortunately the money isn't in there yet. So let's go and put the money into the system, right? So we've got to make a deposit. So it shows what is available in your wallet, which is right here. But it also shows I have zero poly. Now here over here, this is available on IDEX, pending withdrawals. So what we're looking to do, if we click max, see it takes the max amount that they're able to move, that includes their fee, and then if you click deposit, that charges a gas fee in order to deposit it into your IDEX. So we're going to do it real quick, just see if it works. It says, are you sure you want to deposit this? It says, minimum trades are 0.15 ETH. For makers and 0 0.05 ETH equivalent for takers. All right, so it's basically saying here that we technically do not have enough ETH to do a transaction. We're going to need more ETH to do a transaction. So we are going to confirm it just to move a little bit over so we can see how it works. And you'll see it'll activate your MetaMask and it's going to ask, "Hey, would you like to move this money over?" And you say yes and you hit submit. Deposit has been submitted. Please be patient. Do not initiate more deposits while the deposit is being done. And you can always check your balance history page to see what's going on. You hit OK. And now you have initiated the money to go from your Meta Wallet into IDEX, which is technically an exchange. Okay. Now if you go into balance history up here, you'll see that right here it says there's pending this to clear the blockchain so it has not cleared yet but it does show that it is pending as soon as that clears it'll clear the blockchain now here's your actual ID that it actually see it says one block confirmation it was a successful transaction so we did in fact move it and it actually cost us uh, 15 53 cents to, to move that money over so we go back here it still says pending though, and so what we're going to do is we are going to, just give me one second here, I'm going to go back into 
balance history, I mean balances, full balances. And as you can see, we took the money out of here. There's no more money in here other than it left a little bit of money. You don't want to you don't want to go to completely zero. So it leaves a little money in there. And then it go back over to balance history. It still shows pending. Not really quite sure why it's taking so long. Okay, here we go. So now we're in your wallet, but it still has not cleared. It still doesn't show up here. There, it just showed up. See that? It popped up. So now we actually have money. See? Boom. The deposit has been finalized. All right. And so it says, please wait up to 10 blocks for your balances to update. Okay. So there you go. So there's your balance on IDEX. You paid your fee. And now you can actually buy Poly with that. However, you would need more than what I put in. This is just for example purposes only. So let's go back to over here. We want to purchase Poly. Now again, we don't have enough in here to potentially purchase Poly, but we are going to see what the process would be like. And so if we scroll down here, and let's say we were only going to buy five Poly. I don't think it's going to let us do it, but it does show here where it says buy Poly. shows that, that the money is in fact in IDEX. Over here it says we have zero Poly, so we haven't purchased any yet. They obviously charge a fee to uh, purchase the poly. If we click buy, let's see what happens. Uh, price is over one ETH or quantity is very low. Are you sure you want to fill this order? We're going to hit cancel. Okay. So the price is not over one ETH. The price is very low. The question is, will it fill the order based on the amount of money that I have in? And the answer is no. You need to have a minimum of 0 0.05 in order for you to do a, a what they call a taker uh, versus a, a maker. A maker means that it's a sell, meaning that you're actually uh, selling what you have. Or, or the, I mean, a maker is when you buy and you're actually buying and putting ETH into the system, and a taker is when you're selling and taking out of the system. So if you take a look here, we have pretty much showing you the process and if we were to do it successfully you would actually see the poly in your balance now in order for us to do that we've got to put some money into the metamask so what we're going to do is we're going to grab a little bit of ethereum and we're going to deposit it into metamask and then we're going to come back here to show you how that works okay guys so we've actually put in we sent another uh, 0.1 ETH over to uh, the metal wallet and then we deposit it in the ether delta exchange and so now we should be able to buy some poly so i know that the system's going a little bit slow uh, that is due to uh network traffic There's a lot of people that are trying to utilize idex right now and they're moving tremendous amounts of money all right so now as you can see here it normally will default back to what they call the price chart but you have these quick tabs. You have the, the price chart of what the price or current price is for polymath in this case. It shows you the buys and the sells over here. All right. You can zoom this in, scroll out. And you have a depth chart to show what the buy wall and the sell wall look like. All right. And then, of course, we're going to go to quick balances. And you can see here that the money is showing up here approximately a little over $100 based on the current rate, rate of ETH, okay? And now we're going to actually go down here, shows the money is here, we can use it. We're gonna do a market order, we're going to market. So it's gonna basically go by the last rate of the last purchase. And we are going to buy, we're gonna buy 50, five zero poly, okay? And we're going to click buy. And we're going to confirm this. All right. And it's asking me to sign the message. We hit sign. I 
I just bought 50 poly at 0.00149985, which is the current, which is the current going rate. We hit OK. And now you can see here it took off its its fee. And there you go. We now have poly. And it was an instant purchase. See this 48.53 poly that we have purchased. And if we want to, we can go to full balances. And now there it is. Now we have we have to deposit it now. So as you can see, although we have it, it's in, as you can see, it's on the IDEX book. It isn't actually in my wallet. So you can either make a deposit, withdraw, or transfer. We're actually going to do a transfer. So, or I mean a withdraw. So we're going to do a withdraw into itself. My bad. So it's going to say here, amount to withdraw, Entire balance, hit withdraw. Make sure you want to send this much poly, hit confirm. And say OK. Let's do it. We're going to sign it. Now you can, I would right click, open that in a new link just so you have it, and hit OK. And now you can look in the blockchain and refresh this page. You can see. That in fact, there is a transaction for Poly. It's going to go back into your Meta Wallet. It's been included in a block, so it's 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 there. And as you can see here, it went from this side, which is your IDEX, into your wallet, and now it's in my balance. And if we look inside of our MetaMask. It has not shown up yet, but that's this is where it will show up. And the way you can check that is by actually adding the token over here. Now, other way you can check that is to go to ETH Core, because because this is all only going to show you Ethereum. So if you click on tokens, you'd have to actually have to add in a custom token. You can also check uh, ETH Core. So we can do that real quick. So we're going to copy the address to the clipboard real quick. And we're going to put in ETH, ETH, or .io. Okay. Put it in text ID here. I mean, in the uh, TXID. And there you go. 47.73. So it did charge a little gas to do that. So we actually started out with purchasing 50 poly, and we netted. 47.73 and it is in fact in our wallet. So I hope this gives you guys an idea on how to make a purchase on the IDEX exchange. We appreciate you guys taking the time to understand this better and hopefully you guys can use it and it can help you on your day-to-day -day purchases of coins that just came out recently added in case you missed some of those amazing ICOs. So there you go, guys. There's a little information about how to use IDEX. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for information on Ether Delta. We're going to be putting up a video on that soon. We truly do appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day. I know that at the end of the day, a rising tide raises all ships, and we want to provide information that can help all of you build a, a massive altfolio, get invested in the infrastructure that's building up the blockchain revolution. We know that you guys want to be a part of that, and anything you can do to comment, subscribe, share, like our video, bitdragon.live is here as a resource. You guys can use on a regular basis, go back to it. I did mention the MetaMask video. Obviously, uh, that's important that you understand how to use a MetaMask, how to sign up and move money in and out of MetaMask and to utilize it with either IDEX and or Ether Delta. So we appreciate you guys taking the time, looking at our videos, enjoying the information, sharing with us how you feel about it. And so with that, take care, take charge, and we'll see you at the top.